Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. It is episode two, and we're going over here. We're leaving the Garden of Time, potentially, to go and explore brave new wo worlds. No. Oh, look! Big snake! There's a sky snake! Oh, I don't want to jump yet, because there's something that's the other side, but look at that. Oh, this is... Oh, man. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I just want to play and play and play. Unfortunately, though, for me, <laughs> that's not going to happen. I have a whole lot of stuff to be doing this weekend. So I'm going to be playing as much as I can tonight once the kids are in bed and then, uh, <laughs> then, then cracking on. And I need to do more Jedi Survivor as well. I'm still doing my playthrough on that. Where's the jump button? Just let, let me get the apples. So I've got a lot to do. Oh, man. Hello, strange giraffe. Hello, you seem to be new here. I am Steward Construct. By, be wary of soldier constructs as you travel this way. Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai who created has directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser too. Trespasser too. You must treat them as a serious threat. Plan me to offer some unsolicited advice. It's crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. <laughs> Press and hold. Okay, you may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, that sounds, seems a bit mean, but I'll, I'll give it a go, I guess. Oh, but please don't actually attack. Oh, so we can lock on. Amazing. Fantastic. Oh, that's good then. But what happens if I do actually attack? <laughs> no, I'm not going to. They asked not to, and they asked very nicely, but I will take another wooden stick, which, look at all of the special presents we got now, guys. Oh, man, we got so many. This is amazing. Okay, it's time to jump off the edge and go and find something. Like, in the last episode, the steward said, oh, no one comes here anymore. It's a bit desolate. I'm not surprised if the soldier's attacking anyone that's new. No wonder, no. That's, that's not how you do tourism, guys. It's not how you do tourism. Whee! Splish, splash, I was taking a bath. The do, do, do. And there's a frog. Lonely frog in the water. I wonder if you can collect, like, these dragon eggs and things like that. That would be kind of cool. I don't think they are dragon eggs, but they look like dragon eggs, don't you? I want one. Give me that dragon egg. Okay, so... Oh. The soldier boy! Uh, so, it reckon do things from a distance rather than swinging wildly. Oh, sweet and wildly seem to do the trick. I can't take it. Oh, man. I'll have to drop some junk. Uh, uh, let's drop let's drop a tree branch, I guess. There we go. Now I can take the wooden... No. Drop the tree branch. That's it. Now take the wooden stick. There we go. We've got this, guys. All these tree branches around, and all I want is wooden sticks. Right, before we go forwards, let's go backwards. See what we can... Oh, hang on a minute. We've got to pick up. Pick up what? I can pick up a rock? I'm so strong! I can sort of carry it in the water a bit. That was probably useful for me. Not to worry. Okay. Have a little bit of a, an old ruin here in this place that is desolate because they attack everyone that comes here. I guess we'll get some practice killing things while we're here as well and some mushrooms. What's this thing? Search. Oh, there was one of them up where we came from. So there are more. So they're like new types of chests and they've got balls here I can chuck about. Or just drop. <laughs> Press the wrong button, guys. <laughs> I always think of R as RT and it's not. There we go. Nice. Amazing. What else? What else you got? More mushrooms. Oh, it looks like there's some chilies. Chilies are good. Especially when it's going to start getting cold. Spicy pepper! I, ni I like it. Give me all them spicy peppers, guys. All right, what's, what's in this direction? More stuff. Not much stuff. Hmm. I thought there was something to the right that I just spied in the corner of my eye. We shall get around to it this way, I imagine. 
Oh, it might have just been that bush. Could have just been that bush. Who knows? Oh, a flower. Uh, it's a it's a Korok seed. I just gotta follow it. I gotta learn the controls better. Hooray! You're not Hestu, but you see me. I didn't know someone like you could find children in the forest. If you see Hestu, please return me to him. Amazing. Oh, well, my friends are hiding in lots of different places too, so you should keep an eye out while you wonder. I will indeed, and I think uh, I probably end up doing a few live streams on uh, on this because uh, Korok seed hunting is a... It's quite a long tedious process sometimes enjoyable don't let don't get me wrong don't take that the wrong way but it's not the sort of thing that you would want to spend many 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 videos doing so i think yeah doing that on live streams would be a good way of dealing with that i guess oh man there's just so much to explore so much to see look at the distance all these different sky islands i'm sure we'll get about to them all eventually i can go down there as well if I go down there, can I get back? Probably, but let's not just yet. Although that it's not it's not very big that area, so maybe we should. Oh man, there's so much to discover. Oh, hang on a minute, what's these? Oh, they don't attack you then. Okay, that's fine. Can I sneak up to them and like? ride one that one just disappeared into a rock is that one just going to disappear as well there's more apples that I missed here yeah no not didn't disappear I would need the apples guys hang on there's another one oh come on Link do it the right way <laughs> give me the apple thank you alright let's sneak up to this thing then no, it sees you sneaking. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. I won't bother you if you don't bother me. Oh, there's a few of them around here. Oh, and it looks like there's a different type of mushroom there for us to collect as well. Yeah, I should probably avoid those those things then. A stamella. Okay, stamina mushrooms. Nice. Could come in handy, guys. So what am I supposed to do? I mean... It's an introduction to a to a passive slash aggressive animal. Do I do something with it? Can I get them somehow? Can I ride one? That's what I'm thinking. They look rideable. They look like the sort of size you could get on the back of one of those. I can't target it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well, we'll take the mushrooms and the apples, and we'll uh, we'll hop back. Over here. Hopefully we can climb back up here. We can. Okay. Good. Let's get back to where we were going. Do all the climbing. See if we can find some more of them robots. So soldier boys. Take them out. Oh, keeping our eyes out for mushrooms. And apples. And all of the delicacies that this place will provide. Looks like we're now going in the direction that we were intending to go in the first place. Oh, there's another one of them creatures here. Don't head me. I'm only small. I don't have much energy because I I didn't want to wait. I don't want to waste my mushrooms and my apples. Well, it looks like we're underneath something here. Is there a way we can get up to that? Or not? No. Not right now. I'm sure we'll get a glider or something at some point and we'll be able to boost up to places. That another bit we can get down to? No. It is not. Come on, jump higher, Link. You can do it. Use those little legs of yours to really give yourself a boost. What am I supposed to do with these rocks then? So normally things like this are to do with like Korok seeds and things. When you've got interactable elements in the environment. But it's normally a little bit more obvious than that. There's normally like a bunch of things together. Kind of a bit like this, I guess. 
Look out below, guys! Oh, I'm sorry about that. Hope there's no one down there. Just throw all these up here. Get rid of these. The trip. <gasps> there's a trip hazard. There's a trip hazard. <laughs> Press the right button. There we go. Get rid of those trip hazards there. Good. Doing doing good work here today. Getting rid of all the trip hazards. And collecting many mushrooms and many apples. And seeing many of those crazy creatures. Oh. A campfire. And a stick. And a circle. Oh, all the things, peeps. And another steward. Hang on. I'm just, just trying to get this apple. It's just slightly out of reach. Come on, I want to climb the tree game. There we go. Thank you. Good morning. Hello. We are lord in by the delicious smells I assume so. Ingredients are spe especially fragrant when roasted by a fire. They also may be tastier and more nutritious. I would not know. You're roasting them? Oh, yeah, well, I'm familiar. Yeah, okay, so... Um, if you don't know, you can cook food and rest by the fires. And it gives you more nutritional valuable. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. I'm going to use this fire to roast them. And look, there is an ingredient just here. A toasty sky room. Oh, we better uh, do some cooking then. Can I interact? Do I just throw the food on? How do I interact with the fire? Unbearable heat. Yes, I shouldn't really stand too close to it, I guess. Okay, in can I just... No, just chuck them on. Baked apple! Okay, so you just throw your food on the fire, and there you go. Wow. Uh, they don't appear to now be in my inventory, though. Oh, what did I press? Wrong button. Oops! I want to go to my inventory button, please. There we go. Ah, so they're in cooked food. Right, so how do I switch that to cooked food, then? Sort Y. Most used by type. Hmm. Well, there's no way to... Uh... Okay, so this is literally just to, for quick cooking, then. It's not for eating. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to put my pepper... Oh, I suppose maybe if I... Let's throw down one of those. No. X. One of those. One of those. One of those. Because normally you can do recipes, but I don't know if that's just in like a cauldron or something. Or in a cooking thing. Or whether they will just combine on the floor. Oh, where did, where did that mushroom go? Okay, so apparently if you throw a pepper in the fire... <laughs> it makes everything go up. Well, that's good to know. For when we get a hang glider. Uh, but it did get rid of my mushroom. <laughs> Which, which is a little bit of a problem. So we'll keep the rest of those for now. What we will do, though, is we'll eat one of these. Uh, select. Eat. There we go. And that should do it. Yeah, it's done our health a little bit. There. Oh, we'll, we'll have another one, apparently. That wasn't quite enough health. There we go. Lovely. Looks like there's another evil robot over here. We got this. Do your best. Now it's my turn. You died. I can't take the wooden stick because I got too much of this junk. Drop another stick. I want to pick up the stick. Thank you. Nice. I took care of that guy. That was pretty easy. Is there another one? There's an oh, there's two more. Okay, it's fine. This is fine. Let's get rid of that guy. A long stick! Can't carry any more, though. We'll grab it in a minute. 
There we go. We've smashed our stick, but that means we can take that one now. We'll get all of these Zonai charges. Nice! Smash them all the big skies. Okay, there's a thing we can get on up here. And then there was a bit down below as well by the looks of things. Let's just hop up here. Okay, big jump. Nope, not big jump. Hmm, there will be a way to get that. Let's go and explore over here first. Looks like there is more things that we missed out on earlier. A lot more things. I don't even recognize any of this. There's a whole bunch more to this island than I thought there was. Yeah, that's not ever so great, that long stick, actually. I want to equip it. Oh, we just have to... And I now need to drop some more of those. Why are you doing that to me, controller? Dodgy analog stick. You've got stick drift. Uh, maybe. Nice. Ah, here we go. Cooking pot. So, a cooking pot has set my stick on fire. That's fine. <laughs> this is fine. Um, no, I don't want to whistle my horse. I want my food one. There we go. So, if I throw in a apple and a mushroom and a one of those can't take that out here. Can I interact with it? Why can I not take that out here? Huh. But that's... That's what the cooking pot is for. What? Am I doing it wrong? Nope. Okay. Totally pointless cooking pot. But it's right next to some spicy peppers. Why would you have that if I can't use it? That doesn't make sense. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, another, is that a new one? Oh, no, it's another Stamella one. No, it isn't. It's a Sky Shroom. It looked green to me. Okay, so we kind of came over in this direction earlier, but we didn't venture this way. So let's go and see what all of this... Uh... So we got some hot chili... Spicy peppers here. So spicy peppers, obviously, they keep you warm when it's cold. So that's why it's giving us those here. Uh, and it's obviously very cold up there. But how... Did I get a roasted one? Oh, jeez, inventory. Meals. No. So I would just have to... It says cook it. I can eat it on its own. Oh, have I forgotten how to do cooking? Surely. Surely there's a, a way I can just cook this on here. Right, all the buttons. Why? I can chuck it down there. Okay, what if we go to the inventory? Select, select for recipe. Okay. Right, that makes sense. So we'll add one of those, and we'll add a mushroom. Maybe we'll add two mushrooms, and another apple, and we'll return to the game and cook those. There we go. That's how we do it. So that should make us some sort of meal. A spicy simmered fruit. There we go. Wow, that does us a lot of health as well, and it gives us four minutes of cold resistance. So let's do that again. Let's cook another meal. Uh, and let, let's try it this time with just one mushroom and one apple. Oh, hang on a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Quit. I got way too much stuff in my inventory then. Just one of those. Why is it? Oh, okay. No, I keep pressing the wrong button. 
Decrease. Decrease. No. Oh, it's it's already putting a recipe together for me, I see. Okay, return to game. So... What's this one? So that was slightly less cold resistance, even though there was still only one pepper in it. Right, let's do another one. Select for recipe. Oh, look at all the... I, this is good. They didn't have this in the last one that I remember. So you can literally just tell it which in ingredients you want to hold. So let's take the mushrooms out. Hang on. No, 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 no. Oh, jeez. I'm really good at the menu buttons on here. One of those, select for recipe the, with the least amount of fruit, and then take a mushroom off, which is the X button, and see what this makes us. Because you can make stuff that doesn't work as well. You can make, like, gross food and things like that. Okay, so that's a slightly weaker simmered fruit one. Let's do it again <laughs> with just the mushroom this time. Uh, so we'll add one of those and we'll decrease one of those. See what that gives us. And obviously you don't have to do it with the peppers. You can just do it with the mushrooms and the apples. And the more ingredients you put in, the more health you back you get. So that has still got cold resistance for it, so that's good. Okay, so now we need to do... Let's have an apple and a mushroom. In fact, we'll have two apples and two mushrooms. Or will we? No, we'll, re we'll have one apple and three mushrooms. See, so the mushrooms are really abundant. And let's see what that makes us. <laughs> Fruit and mushroom mix. Nice. Okay, so we've now got a whole bunch of meals in our inventory... That's 4 minutes 30, 3 minutes 30, 3 minutes, and 3 minutes. So let's just grab another one of the high-value ones. That one. And we'll cook that. Oh, that's loads better cooking than there was in the first one. They've really improved that. And now we've got a good amount of time that we can go onto this icy cold mountain and actually survive. Which is the way we're going to be going, I guess. Let's hope we can actually last a decent few minutes up here. It's really, really cold. Eat some food, mate. Okay, I'm going to eat. Let's start with the weakest one. Let's eat that. There we go. We're all right for a minute or two now. We could do with some more clothes, obviously. Ah, there's more bad guys. Good. I like bad guys. They're good for chopping. Good practice for uh, doing... Oh, wow. There's lo this, this goes on for miles. Jeez. I wouldn't recommend going in the water up here. I imagine that would be really cold. Yeah. Ow. Poor. Where's my dodge roll when I need it? Right, this stick's about dead, so let's get rid of that. Drop it. Pick up another wooden stick. And another one. No, we need to drop more stuff. Drop. X. One day I'll remember which buttons are which on the uh, Nintendo Switch pad. <laughs> but not today, I don't think. Right, what we got in here? We got a barrel. Okay. And we can throw it. Or we can drop it. Hmm. And a chest. We've got some new clothes. Arrows. Useful, but not useful. We don't have a bow. Okay. All right, we've been around this bit. Let's uh, see if we can go up the front of that mountain, see if we can get higher up it. I'm sure we'll be able to. I mean, we could cook that stamella mushroom and give ourselves a little bit of stamina, which would help us climb up. But I'm not going to do that. Not right now. Give me all those peppers, guys. Now, I'm assuming, if I, even with these peppers, if I go in that water, it's not going to be very happy with me. But it does look like we've got some sort of puzzle thing going on here. And I do like a puzzle. Hello, steward. 
Confirming raft zone I device operational status. Ah, pardon my rudeness. Do you require a raft? The ones by the riverbank are ready to use. Zone I device has also been inspected. Zone I device? Yes, the green thing is called the zone I device. The one I'm inspecting is uh, known as a fan. It activates when struck to generate wind on demand. The river is meltwater. Falling into it will quickly stop your Zamazer. It is for this reason I maintain rafts to cross to the other bank. Should mention that this energy is essential for using a zone I device. You will need an energy cell if you want to use one. This is a problem if you don't seem to have an energy cell. It will be impossible for you to use any zonar devices without an energy cell. Zonar devices are essential on the island and will give you a spare energy cell. Oh, thanks, mate. Nice. Energy cells will store energy required to use a zonar device. This energy will replenish automatically when the zonar device is not in use. Be mindful of your energy reserves. It would be unfortunate if you run out mid-use. The rafts by the riverside uh, have been thoroughly inspected. They are ready for use crossing the waters. Amazing. Thanks, mate. Oh, we'll have a go on a raft in a minute. Then we've got another cooking pot here. And we've got some things that we can move about, which... Oh, man. If we can move them up... Why do they exist? Unless we can use them to our advantage. Can I hop up on it? I can. Hmm. There's a reason for getting up there. I don't know what it is. Maybe there's another chest on the top of that. You've always got to ask the question, if you can do something with something, why is it there? There's obviously the developers have put it in the game for a reason at that particular point for you to use. But what's the reason? And I'm about to run out of my uh, cold food. You mean your hot food? Yes, the food for being cold. Oh, and there is an axe. Oh. There we go. Let's uh, drop one of these. Another branch. Let's drop that. I think you need the branches for certain things, but uh, we don't need it right now. And we'll take that, and before we start freezing to death, we're going to have another meal. Let's have this one. Oh, I can hear some bad guys up there. Oh, and apparently they... No? I thought they could teleport down to me. Oh, they can shoot from a distance. Oh, that's good to know. I don't think I'm going to have enough stamina to get up there, but we'll try. No. Nope. We just need to run away from those guys. Pick up that arrow and that arrow. So, clearly, somewhere around here we can get a bow. And then we'll be able to take those guys out. So it's going to give us a bow early in the game, which is nice. Just where is it? And what is this for? There's a reason that exists as well. Hmm, another axe. Okay. Oh, I guess we could throw the axes. Let's, uh... Let's drop that one. Let's pick up an axe. But I don't know if throwing the axes would be over overly useful, because they probably damage pretty quickly. So I think we need to go over to the other side of this island... We'll go on one of those rafts, go across the other side, and see if we can find ourselves a bow over there. It's clearly that's what we've got to do on this island, is get a bow next. Go on a raft. Let's go on a little journey, and it said we just had to whack it, right? All we've got to do is give it a whack. Nice. We have no control over where it goes, so I guess it's straight line or nothing. But that was that was good. That worked out well for us. We're still depleting our energy. I guess we need to turn it off again. How do we turn it round as well to go back again? Hmm. Hmm. Right, there's a way up there. There's also loads of stuff around here. Oh, jeez. I should have brought more warm food. There is a cooking pot the other side of the river. I'm mildly concerned that we're not going to be able to get back there now, though. Ah, and there's a little one of them things we can look at in here. Examine. Oh, there's a cooking pot here. Amazing. Okay, well, while we're here at this cooking pot there, then let us uh, just cook a little bit more. Let's get another 4 minutes 31 on the go. In fact, I'll tell you what we will do. Let's decrease an apple. Uh, let's take an apple out. And throw in another chilli. With the A button. <laughs> and then cook all of that. Oh. 
that should give us, there we go, six minutes 30, so that's a lot longer. Okay, let's hop up here, or not, and fall down the side and get stuck. Oh, I'm actually stuck. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. There we go, thank you. Nope. Game. There we go, thank you. There's absolutely no reason to get up on here at all by the look of things. Okay, fine. Let's cra carry on going in this direction. Looks like there's something up there on those boxes. Make sure I'm not missing any foods, fruits, pickups, boxes, chests, Korok seeds. Ah, right. Metal boxes. Clearly, that could be a Korok thing. Uh, yeah, we've got to put those in the wall, but we don't have access to our uh, abilities yet. So I guess we need to come back for that, but that's a nice one to know about. So yeah, we put those in the wall somehow. We'll probably need our like magnet ability. We had all those in the first one. We haven't got those yet in this one. We can't do anything with that yet, but I'm sure we will get them. So we need a bow and we need abilities. It seems a bit early on in the game for it to be giving us abilities, but I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain if that's what it wants to do. I'll take those peppers. Thank you very much. Let's go up these stairs, see what's up the top there, and keep an eye on our energy. And keep my eye on the time too, because in a few minutes I've got to go pick Oliver up from school, and it would be bad if I wasn't picking him up from school because I'm too busy enjoying Zelda. But it is very enjoyable. Very enjoyable indeed. Mm hmm. Could really do with one of those rafts up here in order to get over there. Is that as far as I can go? Can I climb up any of this? It, ah, yes, the more stairs. As I say, it's not an ice wall. I'm about to run out of food though. Let's just take a small one for now. Although we'll, we'll end up needing more than that, but that'll do for, for the minute. That looks like we need to keep going higher. And we're going to end up under this waterfall by the looks of things. And further under the waterfall. Oh, and there's gr there's purple stuff on the wall. Can we get it? We can. Rush rooms. Okay, speed boost. Effectively. No, I didn't want to do that. I'll get a hang of the controls soon, guys. Don't you worry about it, mate. Okay. So we can get to the other side of the river this way. Before we do that, let's explore what's in this direction because it does look like we can potentially get up here as well. We can. Not to much avail though. Although I'm sure we could probably survive that short gap in the water. But is it worth it right now? Bearable cold. No, we can't. Okay. Game over. That's it, guys. We're finished. Playthrough over. Hey, if you don't know, you don't know. You've got to learn, right? Jeez. I can't believe we died. Check this screen for hints that will surely aid you on your journey. The adventurous heart must never stop seeking knowledge. Where's it put us? Oh, oh wow. Right back here. Not even on the other side of the water. Right, okay. Huh. That's fine, I guess. But, unfortunately, what's not fine is that it is the end of this episode. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.